from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. A reading from St. Matthew, chapter 9, verses 9 to 13. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax collection station. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to the disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice, for I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham, and his children forever.
In peace let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer through here their worship and praise, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the health of creation, for abundant harvest that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, And for those who are in captivity, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For our deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for this assembly, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For all those living with any kind of mental illness, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy. For the lonely, the hungry, the abused, and the homeless, let us pray to our God. God, have mercy mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious God, giving thanks for all who have gone before us 
and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of St. Elizabeth. And with all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our God, to you, O God. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Thanks be to God. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always.